Hey guys, Ron here, and for some time now I've been wondering how strong real world animals are compared to Pokemon. The only way to determine that is by calculating the stats of a bunch of animals. Now we all know that Tier Zoo exists, but Pokemon stats are a bit different from other RPGs. What if a lion or elephant had HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed? Well, I chose 17 animals to analyze, and if this video does well, maybe I'll pick another 17. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to know if part 2 comes out. Keep in mind, I won't be giving these animals abilities for two reasons. First, if I give a lion, let's say, strong jaw, would that mean I have to lower its attack stat to balance its stat compared to, well, like a bear? Or do I calculate the attack stat independently, and as a result, the lion has way more attack than necessary when its ability kicks in? But secondly, most abilities are supernatural and have effects that wouldn't actually happen in real life. I'm trying to be accurate and simply translate the power of these animals into Pokemon terms, not give real animals supernatural abilities. That's what actual Pokemon are for. Now before revealing the stat distributions for the animals I chose, I gotta show you guys how I calculated the individual stats. If for some reason you want to skip this and see the stats now, just click on the next chapter in the timeline. While we all can disagree on the criteria for each stat, I still try to adhere to the rules I chose. For example, I believe HP represents Pokemon's stamina, but how do I get a mathematical representation of each animal's stamina? Especially since I don't want to find out the running stamina of an animal, but rather its likelihood to stay in battle after being hit. It does seem like bigger Pokemon do have more HP, so I simply determine the HP of these animals by calculating their size relative to their Pokemon counterparts. So for example, a blue whale is slightly less than double the size of a whale lord, so the blue whale's HP stat is slightly less than double of a whale lord's. Weight was a factor when the animal's weight was relatively close to their animal counterpart. For example, gorillas are shorter than Rillaboom, but heavier, so their HP is pretty much the same as a Rillaboom's. Of course, I do give extra points here and there for animals that are famous for their resilience. Attack was more straightforward to determine, but harder to compile. It's literally based on the most physical force an animal can unleash by biting, slashing, kicking, or slamming. So I picked an animal whose Pokemon counterpart is the most similar, which was the dog and herdier, and assumed that their attack stat would be the same. Then I determined which animal in my list would inflict the most physical force, which was the great white shark's bite. I set a realistic cap at 440 for a single stat, since if I didn't, its attack stat would have been like 880. Then I proportionally decreased the attack stat for each animal based on how much pressure per square inch they can inflict. Keep in mind that the attack stat in Pokemon makes no sense, considering Pyroar and Stunky both have attack stats in the 60s. Just be warned that you're going to see some monumental attack stats here. And that kind of makes sense since a Pokemon's attack stat usually results in a Pokemon just fainting, not dying or anything, while these animals are aiming to kill. Defense wasn't too hard to determine, it's based on the armor, hide, and or skin an animal has basically how resistant they are to physical force. It was very important that I made sure defense and HP were separate stats, that's why HP was more about size, while defense was about the exterior of an animal. I figured a whale would have the highest defense stat here, with its 6 inch blubber and skin, then I assumed that since a whale isn't tougher than a Pokemon covered in steel or rock, that its defense should be capped at 130, then proportionally scaled the numbers down for each animal based on how thick their exterior is. Special attack was extremely difficult, it's based on the elemental force an animal can unleash, which is pretty much rare in the animal kingdom. Once again, whales help me out. The most powerful sperm whale sounds can actually maim a human, so I set the cap at 80, since that's when most special moves become deadly, although there are many exceptions. From there, I basically calculated how likely an animal's spray, splash, or throw would end a fight. The criteria for special defense were tough to come up with, but once I did, it was simple addition. It's the Vegas stat, usually associated with either the intelligence of a Pokemon or its resilience to the elements, which is also tough to determine since intelligence can be measured in many different ways, and animals can be resistant to one extreme temperature but not the other. In the end, I decided to create two separate special defense stats, one for elemental resistance and one for intelligence, and then combined the numbers for a final stat. I capped both of these split special defense stats at 70, so a hypothetical animal that is both the most intelligent and most resistant to the elements could get a maximum of 140 points for special defense. Speed was the most difficult to calculate. Here's the thing, you'd assume that the speed stat is all about how far an animal can run in a given amount of time, but a Rapidash has a higher speed stat than an Arcanine, even though Rapidash's Pokedex entry states that it can gallop at 150 miles per hour, while Arcanine's dex entry implies that it can reach 258 miles per hour. So I think the speed stat is actually about reflexes, basically how fast can a Pokemon make a move, also known as their reaction time. So to calculate these animals' speed stat, I began by taking the animal that has the closest Pokemon counterpart, the dog, and assumed that its speed stat was the average of a dog's reaction time and double its speed. The hypothesis was correct since the formula spit out around the same number of a herdier speed stat. So I applied the formula to every other 
animal. Now I'll show you the stats of all 17 animals in this video, starting with the weakest. Skunk is the Pokemon with the lowest base stat total of the animals here today. Lower than even the weakest Pokemon, Solo Wishy Washy, by 17 points. It only got so far as it did with its above average special attack stat on account of its stench. It actually has the second highest special attack stat out of any Pokemon here, but it's way below average in every single other stat. B is actually second to last. It only made it here because of its awesome speed stat. As we all know, it's pretty tough to catch a bee. The reaction time is actually the highest out of any animal here, and they have the second highest speed stat because of this. They were only 4 points away from the top spot, but they're still an insect and therefore can be easily crushed by any animal, giving them the lowest number of every other stat. You'd think a bee sting would matter, but unless the animal is allergic, one bee sting wouldn't really knock out any animal here. By my calculations, a bee sting would actually do 4 damage, since 20 bee stings would be lethal to a mammal, but I was generous. Pigeon is up next, and the first animal here to be as strong as an actual Pokemon, basically as tough as a Snom. They're fast, and their reaction time is pretty sick, so they have admirable speed. They have a slightly below average special defense stat considering their underrated intelligence, but no other stat of theirs is special. I gave them a special attack of 5 because they can poop on you. As we keep on going in order of strength, following up we have the Sea Turtle, pretty much as strong as a Whooper. Its most notable stat is of course its defense, but let's not pretend like turtle shells are actually impervious to deadly attacks. It has around the average defense stat among the Pokemon here, as well as an average elemental resistance, basically half the defense of a Tortuga whose shell is made of rock. A green sea turtle's relatively slow speed and reaction time makes it our slowest animal here. I mean, it is a turtle, so no big surprise. Tuna ranks higher with around the same base stat total as a Makuhita. Now we're talking. It has the highest speed stat here with an insane reaction time and an admirable speed. An albacore can reach 40 miles per hour, but of course it's a fish so it has super low defenses and low tier attack stats. Right above Tuna is a human! Here we are! How good do we do in turn based battle? Not the best. We do easily break. Our defense is extremely low and the other stats are below average, but at least we have the best attack stats so far. But our special attack and special defense are very good. Why? Well, for special attack, a human can use fire as a weapon, and while throwing sometimes counts as a physical move, in this video it counts as a special move. And humans are the best at throwing. That's why we have the third best special attack stat. Considering we wear clothes and are the most intelligent animal here, we also have the third best special defense, behind whales and elephants, who are both intelligent and hefty. We're about as strong as a shinx, that's not terrible. Man's best friend is only 4 points above. Coincidentally, a real dog is basically as strong as a yamper, although I picked a border collie since its size and weight is basically the same as a herdier. It's also the most intelligent dog, and is a good representation of dogs in general. Its speed and special defense are exactly average for the Pokemon on this list. It's fast and smart, but not too fast and too smart. Plus, the average dog isn't the most resilient to the elements. Its defense is actually very low. Dogs are fragile, with bones less dense than that of a human. But their bite is admirable, by far the highest attack stat so far. Double that of a human, but very insignificant compared to the massive beast we're gonna witness soon. The last below average animal here is the porcupine. It's as strong as a Handauer or a Snover, some actual supernatural Pokemon. This is due to its way above average defense stat at least for an animal. It has the fourth highest defense here, and its attack is the highest we've seen so far, but they're terribly slow, not the smartest, and can't shoot their quills or anything, but I can't complain. This animal can contend with many Pokemon. Now we're going to jump drastically in scale. Not only are the following animals stronger than the average animal here, but they're also as strong or stronger than the average fully evolved Pokemon, starting with the Gorilla. It's as strong as Pokemon like Golem, Pangoro, and even Corviknight. Its HP is slightly above average considering its height and weight, but its attack stat is way above average. This thing can rip you apart. Basically all the animals here have attack stats that are higher than any Pokemon. This is all because I'm properly scaling the attack stats here. Unlike Pokemon where Primal Groudon's attack stat isn't even close to double than the attack stat of a Koala. The gorilla's defense is double that of a human, but nowhere near the defense of a bear or even an elephant. Apes aren't the thickest, but gorillas can throw, however they're not the best at throwing, so their special attack is average. Their special defense however is above average considering they're very intelligent. Gorillas feel like actual Pokemon. It might seem like amazing animals like this have low defense and special attack, but that's because they don't have any armor like most Pokemon or shoot fire. And it might seem like Pokemon have less physical attack than real world animals, and it's true. They have less mass and can be turned into energy, and as you've seen in the anime, a human can survive a blow from pretty strong Pokemon. Next is our first starter tier Pokemon, the Lion. It's as strong as a Flygon, Luxray, and basically any evolution. 
Their HP is average and their defense and special attack are low, but their attack stat is mighty strong, as you'd expect from a freaking lion, and they're the mammal with the highest speed stat. While they're very fast, it's their cat-like reflexes that bring them to the top. So while they're slightly less physically strong than a gorilla, they will attack first. And they have slightly above average intelligence and weather resistance to boot, giving them an above average special defense. The ostrich has a higher base stat total than all starter Pokemon. It's basically as much as an Urshifu, and for a similar reason, its attack stat is through the roof. It's tied for third place with the highest attack stat, considering ostriches can kick harder than any other animal. Their HP and defenses are below average considering it's still a bird, but a special attack is almost average for the animals we have on this list since it could technically kick sand in your face. But of course its speed stat is respectably above average because it's faster than any of the remaining animals, so it could definitely utilize its crazy attack stat. The horse has a slightly higher base stat total. It's as strong as an Archeops without the defeatist ability. It's basically sub-legendary status. Its attack stat is equal to the ostriches since their kicks can kill even the biggest of animals. They have slightly more HP, defense, and special defense than the ostrich, but considering it has a slightly lower speed stat, the ostrich is a perfect rival to the horse. Very similar stat distribution. The elephant breaks our top 5. It's stronger than all minor legendary Pokemon. It's as tough as a Mega Agron. Here's how. Its HP is impressive, considering an elephant is way more massive than the average Pokemon. The second heaviest animal here. Elephants are as strong as, well, an elephant, so its attack stat is no joke. Their defense stat is lower than you'd think, considering they don't have thick fat or anything, but their trunk gives them an admirable special attack stat, and their special defense is second only to the whale, because they're quite intelligent and have methods of resisting the elements. Unfortunately, they have a below average speed stat, but once they come at you, they'll kill you. Brown bears are the strongest of the furry animals we have today. They're base stat total is higher than Mega Swampert and Mega Charizard. Bears are crazy! They excel in every stat except for special attack, cause I mean they can't really throw or shoot anything, and their speed stat is around average, but they have the best combination of attack and defense so far third best in both defense and special defense, considering brown bears have extremely thick skin, fur, and fat. They can survive the dead of winter and are decently intelligent. They have the most efficient stat spread out of any Pokemon today. Hippos make our top three, all of whom are stronger than any Pokemon outside of special forms like Megas or Eternamax. The hippos' stats are equal to that of Primal Kyogre and Groudon, which is funny considering Groudon is based on the biblical behemoth, which is thought to have been a hippo. These animals have the second strongest bite on the list. Their HP is also the second highest. Their defenses are all above average with a low score in special attack and speed, and that's just low speed for an animal. A hippo will easily outrun a human, especially in the water. Their low speed stat is mostly from their slow reaction time, but hippos have the strongest attack out of any land mammal. Their bite is like a guillotine, almost double the attack stat of a primal Groudon. Number 2 goes to the Great White Shark. It owes its high place to its godlike attack stat, the highest tier. Its bite is second only to a crocodile, which isn't even in this video. If I was scaling the stats without any limits, the Great White Shark would have an 880 base attack stat, but to be fair, sharks don't really use their full bite force. They tend to just shred their prey. Great White Sharks are huge, so their HP is no laughing matter. Their defense is also the second best here, and the best so far with 6 inch sandpaper like skin. It hurts just to touch them. Their special defense is average, cause while they have the intelligence of a smart fish, I like to think that their resistance to cancer would make their special defense a bit higher. They have slightly above average speed too. At the end of the day, the shark has one of the most unique stat distributions here. But right from the beginning, with a base stat total of 818, the blue whale is the animal with the highest base stat total. It's the biggest animal to ever exist, bigger than any Pokemon ever created. So it has the highest HP, defense, and even special defense, considering it's both extremely resilient and incredibly intelligent. It even has the highest special attack here. The only animal on this list with a built-in non-physical weapon. Whale sounds are very intense at point blank. Its attack stat is average, considering it's kinda tough for me to measure how hard a whale hits. I mean, it's pretty slow. Its only below average stat is speed, considering it has the slowest reaction time here. But if you really want to know, this is the average stat distribution for a real animal. The HP of a Landorus, the attack stat of a Zacian, the defense of a Pikachu, the special attack of a Caterpie, the special defense of a Pyroar, and the speed of a Torterra. HP is where you see a ton of extreme differences since huge animals are way bigger than their Pokemon counterparts, while small animals are way smaller. Animals in real life can deal way much more physical force than the average Pokemon, considering they generally have more mass. 
I mean, a blue whale is more than 130 times heavier than the heaviest Pokemon, Celesteela. And it's pretty neat to realize that real animals ended up having more special defense than their Pokemon counterparts, since most Pokemon are combined with an element like rock or ice, making them less resistant to weather. But Pokemon do seem to be faster than animals on account of them being way lighter. And of course, even the weakest Pokemon tends to have more special attack, since animals don't breathe fire or shoot ice. Now if you enjoyed, please leave a like, especially if you want to see part 2, and subscribe to know when that comes out. Check out the videos in which I create new Pokemon, and go to the description for the t-shirts I made for you guys, and my Patreon where you can get cool rewards like seeing my videos days early, which you can also do by pressing the join button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys very soon.